Welcome to Primary YPWW Lesson 4. I do not own the rights to this music. Today's topic is going to a better place. Our lesson scripture is coming out of Isaiah chapter 65 verses 17 through 25. And that reads, For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. But be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing, and her people a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem, and joy in my people. And the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. There shall be no more thence an infant of days, nor an old man that hath not filled his days. For the child shall die a hundred years old, but the sinner, being a hundred years old, shall be accursed. And they shall build houses and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit, they shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. For they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. And the lion shall eat straw like the bullock, and dust shall be the serpent's meat. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, saith the Lord. The memory verse for today's lesson is, For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. But be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing and for and her people a joy. And that's Isaiah chapter 65 verses 17 through 18. The target for today's lesson. The Lord wants his children to trust his promise to bless them in an eternal new heaven. The prophet Isaiah warns that all those who forsake or reject God will go to a bad place. They shall be ashamed and shall be destroyed. The godly people shall rejoice, but the ungodly shall have great sorrow. This is proof that one day all of God's people are going to a better place. God reveals to Isaiah both the coming of the end of time and the redeeming of his chosen people. He makes a promise to Isaiah. He will create new heavens and a new earth for the righteous. He adds that the old things of the past will not come to mind or be remembered. It will be a place where the people of God can rejoice forever. There will be great joy and no more sorrow or weeping. Even the curse of sin and death will be gone. God gives a perfect example. When the children of Israel go into the promised land, they have vineyards and houses. The Lord blesses them without labor or struggle. Isaiah encourages the people to rejoice to know that the new heavens and earth will restore order. The day will come because death will be eliminated. The people will live forever with the Lord. Revelation 21 tells us all about the new heaven and earth. There will be no more wars among people. Animals will not try to eat other animals or destroy one another. God's eternal love and dominion will reign. The questions for today's lesson. Number one, what does it mean to forsake God? What will happen to those who reject God? Number two, what did God promise that he will create new? And number three, 
What chapter in the book of Revelation tells us about the new heaven and earth? Write down your answers and make sure to get help from your parents or guardian. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.